Babe, I think I'm ready for you to meet my parents. So I was out picking up some electronic supplies recently, and I came across this emergency stop button. And the first thing to come through my mind is, I wish I had one of those for my Zoom meetings. And it was only $10, so I figured I absolutely needed it. For the times when I'm online and someone asks me a really tough question, or really anything. Stupid, but something to do in quarantine. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Come on. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is open this up and kind of figure out how it works. It's a switch, so I assume it will be easy, but uh, every time I assume something to be easy, it always turns out incredibly complicated, like relationships. On the inside, there seems to be four places that you can attach a wire. I'm assuming what's happening is there are two separate circuits in here that we can interrupt. I'm gonna do a bit of testing with the multimeter that I still don't really know how to use because I bought it a week ago. There's a setting on here that lets you test whether or not a circuit is complete. I think it's that one. I shouldn't see anything happen when I do this. And when I do this. Oh, that is super weird. I would assume that, I don't, you know what, I'm not gonna pretend that I know anything about these because I, I don't know anything about electricity whatsoever. But I'm gonna use the orange side. So I have this, and then I push it, and then the internet is interrupted. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is take this ethernet cable and basically take it apart. What I'm gonna try and do is cut the insulation around the cable without trying to cut the wires on the inside, which is actually quite difficult. And if that's possible, remove the outer insulation of the cable like this, take one wire, cut it, and then leave the rest intact. Look at that. Next is wiring it up. We were gonna do it to the orange one, if I recall correctly. Let's just hope, because I'm not gonna check again. I'm not one of those measure twice, cut ones type of guys. Which is a really bad quality for, <laughs> for, well, for anyone, for anyone. There we go. Okay, not my best work, but it'll do. We should have a fully functional, should, should, very much a should, we should have a fully functional internet kill switch. Okay, so three days later, and I actually have the supplies that I need. I ended up building the button. It's over there, I think. I was going to plug it into my computer, but I realized that I didn't have any of the proper connections to do so. What I was able to do is pick up some ethernet cable, which I'm gonna run all the way downstairs from the router up to here. Now you may be wondering, Ryder, couldn't you just move your computer closer to the router for the purposes of this video? Yes, but I didn't think of that, so I have this. System preferences, network, yeah, that'll work. This is not connected. Oh, connected. So about the same speed that I'm getting through the Wi-Fi. Awesome. So now that the internet is working through the cable, the next thing to do is to connect the switch and see if the internet works when the switch is on. Connect all of this up. Okay, and it's still working. Oh, oh something's happening. Upload shouldn't work. Amazing. And if I try and restart it, I have no internet. Oh, that's great. I reset the switch and the internet comes back. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, perfect. Let's do some, let's do some Zoom calls. I'm ready for my calls now. So we're looking for any volunteers to come in to work this weekend. Guys. Um, Ryder? Who? Uh, Ryder? Ah, babe, I think I'm ready for you to meet my parents. Um, actually, your ex, Dave, is, like, here. Do you want to, like, talk to him? Um, well, like, I... Uh, Dave, come here. Yeah, I'm talking to him. Yeah, 
talking. It's Shredder. Oh, ah. Uh, breaking up. <laughs> and I was thinking about getting a group of us together to do like a fun like 90s quiz. Um, do you want to like be a part of it? He liked Melissa's Instagram photo. Do you think she's prettier than me? So, um, as you know, I've built my own business and I was wondering, you know, if you wanted to maybe get involved. So I see on your resume that you listed that you were fluent in French. Donc, si ça te va, on va continuer en français pour le reste de l'entrevue. Est-ce que tu peux m'expliquer pourquoi tu es la meilleure personne pour le poste? Um, oui. Donc, uh, je suis... Okay, that's enough. Thanks for watching. In the words of anyone who knows me as a close friend, I have no shortage of bad ideas. So if you want more, hit subscribe. Oh, and actually, it smells wonderful.